The first category are contouring products. So in third place, I have the Huda Beauty Tantor. So this is a little bit of a contour, a little bit of a bronzer. So it's a, a mix in between and the shade is pretty similar to that. So I wouldn't call it a true contouring powder, but it still works for me. And I've got the shade light. That is this shade right here. And it works pretty well. It also quite creamy and blendable, but it's not too emollient, which I really appreciate. And it also stays put. So I have definitely enjoyed using this. Now in second place, it is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand in the shade medium to dark. This is super pigmented, but it is very sheer at the same time. You can blend it out pretty much almost into nothing, but check out that color. It is so intense. It actually works great as a cream contour. And because it blends out so beautifully, it is very, very easy to use. And it's also a great color. I do enjoy this color. The formula stays put, doesn't really fade. It's fantastic. And in first place, I have the Natasha Denona Contour Sculpting Powder in the shade, I think it's 3 Warm. Yeah, the shade 3 Warm. This is my perfect powder contour. This for me is the most perfect shade for my skin tone for a contouring powder. It's not ashy. It has a little bit of that warmth because my skin has a lot of warmth. If I use very ashy, contouring powders it just looks muddy and it does not look good this has plenty of warmth but still has a little bit of ashiness so it gives you that teeny tiny look of a shadow but it does not make you look muddy it's stunning for you that's there so that's that powder there it blends in beautifully it looks natural that's the best part about this powder it looks very natural it never gives me a harsh look. It's easy to blend out. It's fantastic. Next up, bronzers. So I don't have a cream bronzer that I absolutely love. So I don't have a category for that. However, for powder bronzers, this was a little bit hard to pick because if you've seen my top bronzer video, you know that there are like 11 bronzers that I love so much. So this was very, very hard to pick, but let's do it. In third place, I have the NARS New Matte Formulation. This is the shade Laguna. This is a very beautiful creamy powder bronzer. The color is perfect. I have already talked about this a few times on my channel. So check out some of my previous videos where I do a full demo with this bronzer and I show you what this looks like on the cheek. In second place is the Kosas Sun Show Powder in the shade Medium. I freaking love this stuff. This is a bronzer that whenever I wear it, I feel like I'm on a holiday because it gives you this beautiful coppery, gold, shimmery glow to the skin. And I normally don't like shimmery bronzers, but this bronzer is just perfection. I don't know how they did it. It is so stunning. I have talked about this in my bronzer video. I've also done a dedicated video to this bronzer, so check that out. Can't, I can't say enough good things about this bronzer. It's, it's amazing. And then first place, I have the Ilia bronzer. So for me, this is the standout bronzer for this year. It is creamy, it's pigmented, it is the perfect shade of golden yellow undertone for my skin tone. This is a shade Novelty, perfect for my skin tone. It's also quite pigmented. So I have a feeling I'll be able to use this in summer as well. The only downside to the Ilia bronzers is that they don't come in more shades. So this is a darker shade, unfortunately, but it does work beautifully for my skin tone. So for me, this comes in first place. It's also a very creamy powder. It blends so smoothly. It never looks patchy on me. I can wear it when I have a very dewy cheek and it still doesn't cling or become patchy on the skin. It's stunning. Next up, let's talk about cream blushes. And this was a very, very difficult decision. Very, very difficult. I probably thought like for 10 minutes straight, I was thinking, how am I going to decide? the third, second, and first place because I feel like all three of these blushes 
all three of these brands in these blushes I love so so much so this is what I've decided on in third place we have Westman Atelier blushes Whew, this was hard because I love these blushes so much I feel like I want to give it first place but let me tell you why this comes in third place that's because a lot of these blushes from Westman Atelier are all pink there is only like a couple of peach shades other than that there are three pink shades in different tones of pink but I saw I feel like the color selection is very limited and then they are also extremely expensive so even though these are absolutely beautiful I have done a video on these showing you what these look like on my cheek and I love them to death I think yes um, I'm gonna have them at third place in second place I have nude stick blushes so I've done a couple of videos on nude stick blushes I love them they are stunning they have a huge collection of shades you can get peach a little bit red a little bit pink a little bit orange you can whatever you want you've got it nude stick has it and they're so reliable they last a very good amount of time on the cheek and I love using them just love love having them and then first place this was a very very difficult decision but I'm sticking to it for now in first place you probably guessed already are uh, the Patrick Ta blushes so I've got four shades in these um, all four of them I love the color direction that Patrick Ta went in because they're not all the same color they one is brown one is a berry one is a lighter pink one is a coral and they're stunning what I particularly love about these, it's the inclusion of a powder shade right here. And what that means is that for me, these blushes are very versatile because I can use the powder and the cream on its own, or I can combine the two. If I do combine the two, I get a very long wearing cream, beautiful dewy looking blush. And it stays put for a whole eight hours if not more and I love that and I feel like the colors that he picked were also really really good even this pink shade that initially I didn't think was gonna look good on me however it's stunning and it looks fantastic love love these highly recommend now let's talk about powder blushes so powder blushes were pretty easy for me to choose not like the cream blushes I was really torn between my choices and very conflicted but powder blushes were relatively easy in third place i have nars blushes so nars do fantastic powder blushes they have a nice color selection the only thing i hate about the nars is the packaging i mean look how manky and sticky and horrible this is and there's nothing i can do about it that's just that's just what this packaging is so the reason why this is in third place is because the packaging really irritates me but other than that the blushes themselves are beautiful so for example let's take a look at this shade this is called exhibit a seriously come on I mean just look at that color it's a beautiful bright orangey red it's so stunning i love it and then this shade that i've got right here is called taj mahal now this is very shimmery so whenever i use this i use only a very small amount but look how stunning that is this is the shade amour so this broke for me this is a very old blush that i still have um i don't know it's probably like eight years old that's how old this blush is so it has broken off I still have it it still works beautifully for me and I will probably buy a new one but this is an unlikely blush shade for me this is a type of shade that I normally would never pick but it was a recommendation from a sales assistant initially I didn't believe her when she said this was gonna look good on me but then she tried it on and I said yes I will buy it because it looks stunning this is a beautiful Sort of a nude pink shade on the cheeks so this is a shade amour now i will swatch this and i will swatch it on my cheek for you in a blush video coming very soon and then we have these two shades look how gorgeous these are so this is a shade called desire it's odd there so if you can see that reflection in the mirror 
that is the right shade for this blush. It is a beautiful cool tone bubblegum pink and it looks stunning on my skin tone. So I really love this one. And then of course, this is a recent one that I showed you in my fall blush video. How beautifully vibrant and bold. Mm. If I had to pick between these two, it would be quite hard, but I think I'd go with this one. It's just, it's everything. Now in second place, I have to give it to my MAC blushes. So I have got so many MAC blushes. I mean, check this out. So there's like three, three, six, and then I've got two more and then probably some more in my drawer. MAC do their blushes so well. The formula is fantastic. And the color selection, phenomenal, right? They have so many shades for all skin tones. I love it. So I talked about in my recent video how I really love the shade Burnt Pepper and Raisin. These are stunning, stunning shades. Let me just open up Raisin as well. Whew, look at that brown, yes. I definitely use these shades a lot. And then I also have some nudie shades. So this is a shade Gingerly, which it's a beautiful nude blush for my skin tone. It is so close to my skin tone. I can't really use this in summer, but in winter it's perfection. And then I've got a couple of mineralized blushes. MAC blushes are just stunning. They also last a long time. They don't get ruined. You can use them for years and years and years, way past the expiry date. And then in first place, I have to give it to the Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame blush. So very specific in shade because this is so beautiful. I've already talked about it. I feel like at least three times this year since I got this blush. It's everything. It has a stunning satin finish on the skin. It's not shimmery, but it gives the skin a glow. Also, this shade is a beautiful rosy bronze shade. It's so stunning. It's so stunning. Yes. yes. So this first place. Let's talk liquid slash cream highlighters. So in Third place, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in the shade Golgasm. Now, this is the only shade I have, Golgasm, but I'm definitely planning on getting some more shades because I love this formula. It applies beautifully, blends easily, it's not too dewy. So I got it on today and it's you can see that my hair is not really sticking to it, so I love that about it. You get that creamy look, but you don't really get any stickiness, so that's fantastic. By the way, if you do want me to grab more shades in this and do like a swatch video for you, let me know if you're interested in that. Then in second place, I have got the Dominique Cosmetics Skin Glosses. So I've done a whole video on these. You have to check it out. These are amazing. I feel like I keep saying amazing, fantastic, phenomenal. <laughs> And that's because all of these products are products that I love so much. So I have to say it. Uh, this is a shade Sunset Glow. It gives this slightly dewy, glossy look to the cheek. It's not too sticky though, uh, but it, it does have some tackiness. I just, I can't, I can't talk anymore. It's, it's too beautiful. And then in first place, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I've got three shades in this. My favorite shade is shade five. It's my most used shade. You can see it's pretty manky. Um, it's got a beautiful peachy golden color to it. It's also sheer, so I can wear this in summer. I can wear it in winter. This is a product that is a staple in my makeup routine. Every time I put on my makeup, I use this product. I'm wearing it today. I wear it most of the time. That's how good this is. I've also talked about it in my top favorite highlighters videos. So if you haven't seen that one, check that one out. Now for powder highlighters, in third place are my Dior highlighters. So anytime Dior, 
does a highlighter, you can bet that it's going to be amazing. I don't think they've ever let me down when it comes to their highlighters. I've got three shades. All these three shades are amazing. I have swatched them for you in a previous video, in my top highlighters video, so do check it out. And these highlighters definitely give you a bit of a stronger highlighter look. In second place is another Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. This is a highlighter called Magic Star. It is stunning, you guys. I'm gonna swatch this for you. And this is this shade right here. You can see that it, this shade is pretty much like a mix between the two Dior. So if Dior um, 03 and 04 had a baby, you'd probably get this. It is so stunning. It gives you that beautiful, glistening, wet cheek glow. Oh, very, very happy with this. And then in first place, I think you would have guessed already, are my NARS highlighters. I feel like these are the highlighters that are the most unique in my collection because they don't really give a shimmer to the skin. You won't notice any shimmer, but you'll notice this beautiful shine, this beautiful glow that looks really natural. This formula, truly in my opinion, is superior. So this right here is Forte France. This is a shade Ibiza. And that has more of a golden undertone, whereas this one is more of a, a light champagne. Both of them are really, really stunning. So these don't swatch the best. I mean, they don't look as intense as some of, as the Charlotte Tilbury and the Dior. You can see how much more natural looking these are. But when you apply them on the cheek, phenomenal. 